Um, we, we did something. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, we got tiny baby cats. We did. We really derailed our vacation by getting tiny baby cats. We sure did. Mm. Um, this is Giles. And that's Willow. That's Willow. Uh, for Buffy the Vampire Slayer fans, you will understand the significance of those names. They're very, they want to run around. They just had breakfast and they yeah. want to go crazy. They really do. Um, <laughs> you want to stay? You can stay. She's chilling. Okay, cool. All right, well. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hey. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. We are, we figured out, I learned how to work my computer. So we can do this now. Yeah. And it's budget, budget o'clock, baby. All right, let's get into it. We got cats. We derailed our, uh, our vacation halfway through and got tiny baby cats. We sure did. I was hinting at that a little bit it, last Friday. Yeah. That we had to rename the, the the cat category because now it is no longer just Harvey. Oh wait, they've never seen Harvey either. Oh you go, yeah. You get him. He's right there. Sure. Harvey's giant. <laughs> Can you go He's back? huge. This is Harvey. <laughs> this is Harvey. This is our original perfect baby cat. He's a sweet little boy. He's not little at all. He's a giant boy, but he, he is, is giant. Sweet. He's five years old, and he is my first son, and I love him more than anything. Um, anyway, I'm Kaylee. I'm Shay. And it is time to budget, baby. All right, I'm gonna resize us. Okay. Look at that, we're small. Okay, I don't know, I'm not good at this part. It's, okay. <laughs> it's the first time we've ever recorded one where we could also look at ourselves. Okay, so, the YNAB new custom views are in. And I'm excited. I made a little video about them. That's going up, I think, on Tuesday, maybe? Something like that. Maybe. Sometime soon. Okay, so. If you're new here, every week I budget my paychecks. Uh, we live in New York City, I get paid weekly on Friday. Shay is my fiance. Hey. Uh, and we have not yet combined our finances, but we make decisions together and also, just by God, do the people love her. <laughs> so, <laughs> so she's here with me. Um, we are getting married next year and we will combine our finances at that point. At that point. Um, but for now we do live together and so we like split a lot of the bills and stuff. So I. She's involved in the decisions and such. Yes. And I just like to show off my pretty little budget. <laughs> <laughs> so it is the last paycheck of June. Mm -hmm. um, we have some overspent categories, which again, if you're not new here, super normal. Especially considering we did just get back, like we just came, came back from vacation. So yeah. we did a staycation of which there's also a video coming mm -hmm. up. So I'm overspent in three categories, $183 worth of overspending. That's worse than usual. Yes. I was gonna try to say something that makes that spin, like give it a little spin to sound more positive, but that's just. Um, so number one. Well, we've had a couple boring weeks. Yeah, we were due, and this is yeah. like I was blowing up my overspent more than a paycheck's worth sometimes. Yeah. So this is honestly considering not terrible. So here's what happened: we've renamed the Harvey Boy category because obviously I love him to death, but he is no longer the only. Uh, little cat around so we now have the kitty committee because there's three of them and we're yep. overrun by cats yes we are um, in our defense we applied to adopt willow and then she and giles were the only ones left from their litter yeah and we, we couldn't well, do you see that little face how can you leave him <laughs> we couldn't, we couldn't i love that. him so much and they get along so well they're the best friends and now they all like them and harvey all get along and they're all napped together oh wait i'll put the picture right here look how sweet that is yeah. Oh, sweet little baby. C couldn't leave him. So, um, we had budgeted extra money. We, we assigned $244 in this category as of last week, which is way more than usual. Yeah. Um, so that offset some of it. Shay sent me money for some of it. Yep. Um, and then we're overspent by $53. This is like, here, look, we can look at the activity. So we went, we bought kitten supplies. Yes. Can I make this? You can't see it, whatever. Kitten supplies. Went to CVS and got extra cat litter and some toys and stuff. So about $100 in just like general setup to have two more cats in their house. Yeah. Um, this was Shay paying me back for some of the supplies. Yeah. Um, we took a lift. After we picked them up, I just didn't like... The New York City subway system is usually super chill and fine for cats. Like I've taken Harvey in a carrier on the subway before and he was fine and people loved it. But they're so little, I didn't want to freak them out. Not only were they so little, but it was a really long. It would have been like an hour and a half. Yeah, and that's like too much. When I didn't want to freak and them out. And a transfer. I didn't want to freak them out at 42nd no. Street. That's not right. Not, not when we just met. <laughs> um, 
So we took a car back to our apartment just so that way they could have a more chill time. Their adoption fees were $300, $150 each, and that covers their first round of shots and their spay and neuter, which is crazy because I spent more than $300 on Harvey's neuter alone. So that's actually awesome. (laughs) Um, We got a water filter or like a water fountain for them, Mm -hmm. and then this is Shea reimbursement. So like it's just, you know, general... I think I want to do a video about budgeting for pets, and I think I want to break out this category a little bit more and make it a little more organized but for now that's all that um all the setup and stuff for them and it's been more than enough they're they're fine yeah um i I would go so far as to say that they're great and not using some of the resources that we purchased for them like what uh like they're using (laughs) harvey's litter box now they are they're, well, I mean, we need to have more than one litter like, We need to have multiple litter boxes. Yeah. We definitely do. But it's, we got them up this little one so they could step into it because we were worried Harvey has a top entry litter. If, you're, if you don't have a cat and you don't know litter boxes, you're not going to know what I'm talking about. That's but okay. he, he has one that he enters in through the top, and so we thought that that would be difficult for them because they're so small, and they're fine. No. They've been using it. They so are I was like, spry little guys. So we're going to end up having to buy another one of those because these little ones, they just make a mess. Yeah. But we thought they needed whatever. Okay, so (laughs) it's fine. We'll buy another litter box. It's not a big deal. Yeah. So giving. So I budgeted $25 towards giving for the first time in quite a while because I got caught up on my sinking funds and I got excited. And then we went to Pride and we had just like a couple of drinks. And then I, one of my friends posted that he was raising funds to go to opera, like an opera school. And I... Some people, when they drink, they get grumpy and angry, and some people get really, like, combative, and I become just the nicest person in the world. So we were waiting in line for the bathroom uh, at Pride, and I was, like, a couple of sheets to the wind, and I donated $100 to his campaign. I was just so happy. You didn't tell me that happened. I was just so happy for you. I was like, where did the... Where did the hundred dollars come from? That's where it went. I was just so happy. Eli's going to opera school. It is, it's good. It's in. I think it's in Colorado. I know. It's it very sweet. <laughs> I'm just so happy. It's very sweet. Um, I just. That's so hilarious. I just. That's where that. My bad. Not yeah. my bad. I was happy. So a hundred dollars to to opera schooling for my friend, who's a really talented opera singer, um, and then we overspent on vacation by a lot. Yes. Um, and Shay sent me a good chunk of it, mm-hmm. um, but I have to cover a little bit more, and that's what this is. Fifty-four thirty-one. We have already recorded and have scheduled a video about the costs of vacation, of staycation, yes. where everything went, how we overspent, all those things. Um, mm-hmm. That's coming shortly. So July eleventh, that video will post. Y'all, <laughs> these cats. If it's their witching out. Yeah, if there's noise in the background, it's cats playing with toys. It's just our lives now. Yeah. So, overspent on vacation, July 11th, you'll see how we did that. I was going to say why, but there's no, even in that video, there's no justification as to the why that happened. Well, it just did. Okay, so, that was all our, wait a minute, that was all our overspent categories, and look at this underfunded number. Do you see that? Is that it? Yeah. There's no way. There's no way. But you know what? how we can check? Remember what I was saying last week about how I, oh, all I wanted was a little tab that showed me my underfunded categories. It's all I wanted in this life. And then the next time I opened my budget, YNAB had dropped these custom views and look at this. Boom. Boom. That's all? Wow. Look at you. Even with tripling our cats. Even with overspending on vacation. Wow. I will say um, this $100 is spent already because <laughs> of dinner with Sophia the other night. Um, and I don't usually fund these categories. Should I be? They don't. They, what, uh, 2028, we need to renew to USA PreCheck. And 2027, we need to do passport renewal. I mean, it's three bucks each. I know. Why not? Well, because then I, it's just going to sit there and I'm going to pull it off or something, you know? Three bucks a month. Am I, am I really gonna let it roll over like that? Do you think? I, I don't know. I don't. I just. I know myself. I okay. I, what's the point of having sinking funds if you're not gonna sink the funds? <laughs> don't don't speak logic on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Sorry. <I apologize. laughs> okay. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. 
Yeah, sure. Let's drop six bucks. You know, I don't like those. We'll, we'll, we'll change. Um, if I fund this, I think I'm going to fund it in July. Yeah? Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that for now. Okay. Um, I did go to dinner last night. Yes, you and did. And I spent money. Yes. Um, once a month, me and my friend Elijah go to a thematic show and have dinner in theme with the show. So last night, like, we, we had... We went to Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips in uh, in Midtown Manhattan, and then we went and saw Harry Potter and the Cursed Child because they're both British. Um, and then the time before that, in May, we went and saw a show on Cinco de Mayo, so we had tacos and then saw a show. And then in the show, they had made they made a joke about it being Cinco de Mayo, so it felt very on brand. Yep. Um, but so he pays for the tickets to the shows, and I buy dinner usually. So I spent probably a hundred and seventy five bucks last night and he spent like 200 on the ticket so actually he probably came out up um so i'm going to put i i don't know why i always try to do math in my head when wine app has me so i spent 70 dollars at dinner yes i spent 55 55 at jimmy buffett's margaritaville rooftop bar in midtown manhattan it was weird um and i spent probably 55 on drinks at the show 180 Okay. And Elijah paid probably two hundo for the ticket, so that's actually pretty on brand. Okay. There we go. June is done. June is done. Do I have anything I'm behind on on my credit card payments? No. I literally, I've never. This has never happened to me before. This has never happened to me before. It took. When did I start my new job? End of February. Yeah. How many months is that? March, April, May, June. Four mm -hmm. months. Are you so excited? I don't, I like, I don't even, it doesn't even feel real for me to be excited. And also, I mean, to be fair, June is a five paycheck month. Yeah. So it took some time. So we're going <laughs> to click over to July, I guess. Wow. Okay. So my underfunded for the whole month of July is 3267 I'll have four paychecks. They're just shy of $900. Mm -hmm. So it's about 3600 I just can't believe it. Okay, what are we doing this week? There's a, there's a bar that we like. We actually went there on our very first date, mm -hmm. um, and they very recently started to have offering a dollar oyster night on Thursdays. We're going. We're we're going. Um, if we die of food poisoning, you'll know because we stopped posting. Videos. If we stop posting videos, it's because we ate um, dollar oysters and passed away. Yeah, I don't think we will. I don't think we will either. I trust the New York City oyster. I also trust them from that bar specifically. From well, yeah, not, not I'm not eating street oysters. Yeah, but. Um, this bar that we go to, they're really nice and they, they treat us nice. And yeah. uh, dollar oysters, what do we say we're going to spend there? 60? 60. So we should said. budget 75. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> we are who we are. Uh, uh, uh. We're just hungry girlies. We love food, and but we are drinking less. Yeah. We are drinking less. So I think we'll have maybe one beer each and just a bunch of oysters. So now here's the question mm -hmm. I'm working on getting one month ahead. Okay. So, in theory, goal state would be, like, all of my July paychecks pay for my August stuff, right? Yes. I'm obviously not there yet. I have $454. Yeah. Um, so, do I get ahead on rent or anything else? I guess it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. I would guess that it would be more satisfying for you to get ahead on several of the smaller bills than it would be for you to get ahead just a little bit on rent. You're probably right. So, like, internet and, like, renter's insurance and your phone bill and stuff like that. Don't you hate it when she's right? <laughs> okay. I just can't believe it. <laughs> I'm I mean, so happy I'm funding in July. It's absolutely wacky. So, let's do this. Let's fund our gym. Funded for the month of July. Let's fund Hulu. Watch this, watch this, watch this. That's not right. Funded for the month of July. I'm not going to do that every time. I'm done now. I swear. <laughs> Are you? You don't have to be. There we go. <laughs> this is, I'm, this isn't real. That's the issue is that this doesn't feel like real. My 299, that's the real impact. That's the real kicker. Hell yeah. 
Um, I'm worried about our Con Ed bill this month. Me, me too. We've been running those ACs. We have been running those ACs. It's so hot. It's so hot. It's gonna be I, okay. So I grew up in Southern California, so I recognize that saying it's so hot when it's 82 degrees outside that sounds like a lie. My dad texted me a screenshot of the weather at home like two days ago, and it's gonna be over 110 every day this week. I get that. And I also get what I'm about to say is super cliche, but the humidity <laughs> makes it so gross and hot and I can't function and I get super grumpy. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely one thing to be living in Southern California where people know that that's a thing you need to prepare for and have, you know, not in unit AC. What's central air. Yeah. They have central air all over the place. And at least when you step outside, there's a breeze. It's true. Um, but in New York, no, no central AC, because why would you need that? Um, something I realized that I did not do was budget for groceries this week. I have to be responsible and actually do the things that we have to do to live and stay alive. Sorry. It's all right. That's real life. We do need to buy groceries really bad. Yeah. Her friend came over a couple days ago and said that we have the fridge of a psychopath because, because there's <laughs> nothing in there. We were on vacation, and so we ate out a lot on vacation. Spoiler alert, <laughs> that's where all our money went. Yeah. Um, and so we didn't buy groceries, so she opened the fridge and was like, there's nothing in here but, like, sauces and condiments. And I was like, well, no, there's not. There wasn't even, like, nothing. There was nothing. Two full empty shelves. It was really weird. Yeah. Just in the door, just, like, pickles and <laughs> ketchup. Yeah. Um, okay. I took one bill off, which is fine. Okay. Um, but every other bill, like rent and my phone bill are the only things that I will need to fund in the month of July. Everything else is covered. But twenty seven thirty nine, dollars four paychecks in July. That's crazy. Absolutely wacky. Absolutely wacky. Let's slide on over, take a little peek at the student loans. Okay, somebody asked the other day, I realized I hadn't explained this in a while. Um, when I get paid, my paycheck goes into multiple accounts. So I've got three budgets. You're looking at one right now. Mm -hmm. 275 out of my paycheck goes into my student loan budget. It's a separate account, separate budget. Keep it completely separate so I can't pull any money out of it. There's no, it's not an easy switch back and forth. I've got this perfect little house budget um, that I have $50 out of my paycheck goes into that, and that's just for like long-term saving up for like where we want to get an all-clad pan um, yes. and stuff like that and like yeah. our vacation stuff and that's just a little extra savings again so it's not an easy pull yeah um, and then this is my main budget and everything other than that 325 is that does that math math 325 yeah yeah goes into that so mm -hmm. what you see in this budget is actually just like what's left after my student loans and my long-term vacation savings and stuff mm -hmm. so that's yes. what this is um, it's all out of the same paycheck. So my total paycheck overall is actually like 1100 Wow. I didn't, I didn't know that um, until just now. So, um, and I also, the reason I seem so surprised by having money is because I got like a $40,000 raise earlier this year and I just didn't, I didn't, I haven't, I've never made this much money in my life so I don't know what to do with it. And so I'm catching up um, on my life and then working on these student loans because as you can see, again, if you're new, of which there are several people who are kind of new, so hello and welcome. Hey. Um, I have crazy student loans. It's wacky. She's marrying into that. Talk to her, not me. I am. Um, but I got a master's degree. Um, I'm now paying for the master's degree. Um, so right now, while the student loan pause is in effect, hopefully we hear something about that uh, today. Honestly, one way or the other, I just want to know. Um, Literally, yeah. So in August, I'm going to make a very large payment on one of the higher interest loans and we're gonna continue to just like really hit these loans really hard. Um, so what I'm doing right now is just kind of funneling money into an off budget savings account. Um, most of this is in a high yield savings account, getting a little bit of interest until August and then it'll all go onto a big old, a big old chunk of student loan. And hopefully with some additional forgiveness, but it, who knows, I don't, I've lost faith that that's possible. Not, it's possible, it's just probably not gonna happen. Um, but so 275 from each paycheck just drops on this line right here. Um, I have budgeted all of the interest just because it made me happy to see lots of little green bubbles. But I'll probably just pull everything out and just drop one big payment. And then in September, 
every week I'll just I'm just gonna pay weekly and mm -hmm. throw money at them until they go away yeah. um, I'll do a deep dive video on that before we get into that repayment period just about like what my plan is how I'm attacking it what's going on all that so yeah yeah that's us that's us for this week yeah um, good week overspent but still I mean first time it hasn't been boring in a while yeah so that's fun uh, tiny baby cats went on vacation closed out June with the last June paycheck which is rad got a little ahead in July I feel great I'm super happy um, I've got a lineup of videos coming at you guys um, we've been recording a little bit more I'm yeah. driving her nuts with that um, but we do it for you so if you're new welcome please subscribe I it, I really have a really good time <laughs> making these it's fun for me I day before yesterday I finished up work and then I sat at my desk for another like hour like working on this stuff and recording and editing and I was just having just an absolute blast so I enjoy that so please subscribe so we can continue to do so um, and I can continue to torture my beautiful fiance it's not torture with this silly silly budget content it's not torture <laughs> thanks bye, bye.